What's going on guys? This is Alex here with 814 EDC and today I am doing kind of an unboxing, kind of a first impressions of a couple sort of random EDC items. Um, there's no knife content for this one. Um, I apologize if I squint a lot. I'm outside on my front porch trying to soak in some air and some nice sunlight. It's beautiful out today. I'm filming this on a Sunday. You guys are probably going to see this on... I'll probably post this on Monday, maybe Tuesday, one of the two days, but... Yeah, so I, I got some EDC items in over the last couple days, and um, I've waited to do a video on them. I have opened and seen everything, uh, except for one that I just bought today. Um, but they came in over, like I said, a certain, like, three or four days, and I, I couldn't really wait to uh, open everything at once, so I was, I was bad and opened stuff up. But the first thing that I want to show you guys is I got an EDC sling bag. So those... They're kind of getting more popular and more popular um, in the EDC community. I know Jake over at Bearded Gear um, rocked like a fanny pack uh, crossbody, and then he recently bought a uh, I forget the brand of it. If you didn't, if, if it, I wasn't filming this right now, I could have told you, but of course on camera I forget the name of it. But he recently got one of those, um, and he was starting to use it. Um, and I just know of other people in the community that are getting it, are getting into them and stuff like that, and. I've, I've wanted to get one for quite a while now, but I just, I haven't pulled the trigger on one and I haven't, you know, I've been watching a ton of YouTube videos on specific models and specific companies and different types of, you know, brands and whatnot. And I finally found one that I liked. Um, I bought it from Amazon. I was going back and forth between two and I ultimately went with one. Uh, this is a Tom Talk sling. So there it comes in this bag. Um, it says protect your digital gear. I know that they sell a lot of like computer cases, like Nintendo Switch cases, uh, laptop sleeves, like different stuff like that. But they also have this sling bag. So it comes in this uh, from Amazon in this bag. And I ultimately went with this one because I didn't want to spend a ton of money on one. Because ultimately if I got one and I like decided I didn't like it, I didn't want to be out like... I don't know, 50, 60, 70, up to $100, which is some of the nicer ones that I was looking at were. So I found this one as Amazon for, I think I bought it for like 35 bucks. It was weird. When I first found it, it was at $29.99, and when I bought it, it was like 35 So it like slowly went up in price. I don't know why. But I ultimately went with this. Um, here's the front of it. Just a nice kind of gray and black tone. Um, as you guys can see, it does have uh, Cordura fabric which is really nice I thought that was a huge selling point and YKK zippers which I, something on this you know price level I was really happy to get that combination of those two I was those were you know two big selling points for me and obviously the price and stuff like that um, Tom talks thing but this bag it's it's really simple you just have a nice zipper pouch up front here I can just a nice zipper pouch to put some stuff in it has a an integrated kind of a key holder I haven't decided what I'm gonna put on that yet but it has some divider pockets in there then it has a nice big pouch right here with some divider pockets and in the back it has another uh, zipper pocket so um, I I've just I've wanted to get one of these just because I do carry a decent amount of stuff and this will give me the opportunity to carry more stuff with me more comfortably and another reason is um, I'm going to be traveling a lot within the next couple months, like, uh, actually within the next, stupid flies. The last two videos I filmed, the flies have been terrible. I don't know why. I need to start putting bug spray on before I film these videos. But, um, the last, or the last, within the next week and a half, I will be going to Nashville, Tennessee for a couple days for a vacation with my girlfriend and her family. So I wanted to get this in and get it kind of decked out to how I like it before I go. Because we'll be out exploring, traveling doing tourist type things there and I, I wanted to have this with me so you know I just I have like a list of stuff wrote down that I want to put in here you know my typical you know wallet keys uh, I did buy Hank that is another uh, item that you guys are gonna see in this video for it um, a couple you know bandages uh, like Tylenol like small first aid kit type stuff hand sanitizer uh, phone charger phone cable um, flashlight I can put a flashlight in here so I'm I'm gonna completely you know get it to how I want it and then I think I'll wait and do an update video once I get back from vacation in a couple weeks on 
how it's doing and how I've you know decked it out and stuff like that with everything in it so you guys will be able to see that so I'll bring that probably once I get back from vacation so I can actually you know I will have used it for multiple days so but that's the first item um, this nice Tom talk sling really really excited about that so we'll just jump right into the Hank that I talked about I do have a um, EDC crate Hank that I do carry around um, pretty pretty frequently, but I wanted a Hank specifically to keep in my bag. I didn't want to have to pull one out, put one in, and just keep track of it. I just wanted one that I could carry in my pockets and one that would just always live in my uh, sling bag. So I found um, a company on Instagram called Gone Deck EDC. They do Hanks, they do like pry bars and different types of EDC materials and EDT, EDC type of gear. Um, and they had a decent amount of Hank selection, or a decent selection of Hanks uh, to buy. And something that really struck out to me was, or stuck out to me was, they were ten dollars and free shipping. So me being a college kid, you know, I, I like Hanks, but I don't like spending twenty, twenty-five dollars on a Hank. Um, I try to look for cheaper Hanks if I'm being completely honest. And I saw these were ten dollars, and they had microfiber stitching, um, microfiber on the back, and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, let's let's do one of these then. And I had one set for, or I had one that I wanted to buy. Uh, it was a Harry Potter, uh, like the Marauder's Map uh, Hank, which I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I basically grew up, uh, you know, watching, reading, playing all the games and stuff like that. Love Harry Potter. But when I went back in to check again, they had updated it with a few uh, new Hanks. And when I saw this one, I, I had to have it... Um, I want to get the Marauder's Map one too, just to have, but I'll probably get that in the future. But this one, it just it stuck out to me, and I was like, I need to have it. So they just they send them in a plain old envelope, which is you know, uh, you know, I don't really have any gripes with that. They send an email after you place your order, saying that they uh, ship them in just normal envelopes, so you don't get a tracking number. But they say when they're going to ship it out, which is nice. So you get the Hank, which I'm going to wait and show you guys. Um, you do get a sticker, which this is their logo, Gone Deck EDC. You get a business card from Max Gone Deck, which is cool. And on the back, he wrote me a note that says, Best Show Ever, which, Max, I would have to agree. Um, and the Hank that I got is Friends-themed. I know it looks it looks a little girly with the, the pink and the yellows but i i love friends friends is probably top two or th i'd say it's, it's my most favorite show of all time i've watched through it three or four times now um the reunion just came out again which is actually what this was called on the website they had it as just the reunion um which they just they came out with that on hbo max that was a great hour and 40 minutes of my life i loved catching up with everyone and just seeing what everyone was up to and just you know, kind of reminiscing about the like the old the show and when it was happening and stuff. Uh, I wish sometimes I wish I was, you know, growing up during that age period when they were coming out every week. But I also think back and wish like or think like, because now it's on streaming services and you can just watch like ten episodes in a row. Where you know, when it was coming out, you had to wait a week in between, and I think that'd be a little too hard for me. So I'm just glad that. Uh, I don't know that Friends is on streaming stuff because I, I can't tell you how much I love that show. Uh, it's just it's so good. I know some people are like think it's you know not as funny and it's not that good of a show. And if you're one of those people, you're absolutely wrong. I apologize for being that blunt about it, but you are wrong. Um, I get a lot of people. Or I see a lot of discussions on like Twitter about uh, the Friends or Friends versus The Office, and I don't even know how you can compare the two. I, I mean, The Office is okay, but Friends is just so much superior in my mind. So, like I said, when I saw this, I had to get it. You know, you have the couch, the fountain, Phoebe's taxi, lobster, the coffee shop, uh, like the cups. You have the, the uh, photo frame for Monica's door. Just, I just thought it was great, um, and it's it's really nice quality. The stitching's all you know nicely done. There it goes the fly again. Um, and for ten bucks, that's a nice logo there. For ten dollars, I just I, I don't I, I thought it was like just an instant buy. So I'm very pleased with the quality on this, and this is definitely not gonna be the last time I order from Gone Deck EDC. Very, very pleased with them. Um, I like the you know the note. I love when guys put in handwritten notes and stuff like that. So just 
really enjoying this tank, and I'm, it's going to live in my EDC or my uh, EDC sling bag. I almost said EDC Hank. So put that to the side. And then the last thing that kind of pertains to uh, the EDC sling bag, uh, I just got some field notes. These came. Uh, I got them on Amazon. I think this three pack was like ten bucks. Uh, I've always carried this a smaller version of. It was either field notes or right in the rain. I've always carried a couple of those like in my backpack when I'm going to school, just for jotting notes down and stuff like that. Um, but I want they were always a little too small for like any legitimate writing, so that's why I got the bigger ones. These are three and a half by five and a half. Um, so I'm just simple. I'm just gonna toss that in there so I can keep some notes written down if I want to, some ideas. Uh, I just I always think it's cool to have something you know you can write down stuff with in the moment if you think of something. So. I got a three pack just because it was cheaper than buying one separately. So, um, but one of these will always live in my uh, sling bag as well. So that's it for like everything that pertains to the sling bag. Like I said, I will give you guys an update video on you know how it's doing and how I'm liking it and everything that I've put in it and whatnot. Um, probably after I get back from Nashville. Um, the more I think about that, the more I like that idea of you know it gives me a couple days of use because um, I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll use it before then, but I'll be, you know, using it for six, seven, eight, nine hours a day, depending on what we're doing on vacation. So you guys will see an update video on that in probably two to three weeks. Now, this last item, <coughs> excuse me, is actually something that I just bought today. And it's a little bit, to me, it's still everyday carry because it's something that I use literally every single day. Um, but it's not... It's not like in the same vein as like Hanks and knives and pens and stuff like that. But this item I got is the Skull Candy Dime uh, little earbuds they just came out with. They just announced these like I think it was like last month, um, and they're like twenty five bucks. Uh, they're here's, I'll just show them to you. They're little. I mean, they look like a key fob in the little case they live in. Um, just for twenty five bucks, I figured why not. Um, and what led me to get these is because um, I'm, I listen to music pretty much every single day. Um, and at work, I sometimes listen to them. You know, I'm, sometimes I'm mowing grass or weed whacking four to five days a week. And I always have earbuds in because it, it fly again. It helps time pass a little bit quicker. And it, it's just it makes mowing and weed whacking a little bit more enjoyable. And for the longest time, I've been using a pair of uh, Beats, the Power Beats 3s. Um, but they finally, finally died on me. They, they don't charge anymore. Um, so they unfortunately don't work anymore. And uh, I do have my Apple AirPods, which those are awesome. I love my Apple AirPods. But for, for mowing and for weed whacking, I need that kind of noise isolation with like the rubber tips that kind of form fit to your ears. Where AirPods just sit in your ears and they don't really block noise in or out. Um, so that's why I was using my power beats and that's why I want these because they have the little tips that uh, fit right in your ears um, and like I said for 25 bucks I thought it was worth a try um, I don't I mean I'm not gonna really do an update video on these I just I got home today and I wanted to film everything else and I thought you know this is an EDC item for me I use earbuds every single day so I figured I'd toss it into the video too just to just for, for more content I guess but I'm excited to see if these are really, you know, if they're going to be like a piece of shit or not. But those are the Skull Candy Dime earbuds. And that's everything I have to show you guys for today. Um, that's, that's about it. Uh, like I said, you are going to see this video on probably Monday. I'll probably post it tomorrow. Get up a good video for you guys because I was, I was lacking last week, as you guys know, if you guys saw my last video. But. Yeah, you guys will see this Monday, and I have my reviews to do of Red Wolf EDCs, uh, Kyle, his knives that he lent me on uh, loan. I have to do those reviews and stuff like that, so you guys are going to see those for the, rest, for the rest of the week. And yeah, uh, that's all I have for today uh, for this video, guys. Thank you so much, as always, for stopping back in and for checking out my video, and for, walking, for watching my video, for checking out my channel. I'm starting to stumble over my words now, guys, but I, I appreciate you guys. You guys know that. Uh, leave a, a comment down below. I almost said leave a link in the comments. Leave a comment down below if you guys, if you rock an EDC sling bag, what it is, you know, if you don't like them, whatnot. Uh, as you guys always know, I like talking to you guys and whatnot. So, 
that's it for today. Uh, thank you guys as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.